All right, hey guys, this is the Don with Overlanding Anglers and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our more expo series. We are gonna be doing another install and this time we are gonna be running the Diode Dynamics S3 Amber Fog Lights. So we are gonna install those. It's gonna be really, really simple. Wander Off-Road Outfitters are gonna help us out with that again. In fact, let's go talk to Jeff and talk to him about why those fog lights are important. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here now with Jeff from Wander Off-Road Outfitters. Jeff is the one who's done our Viper Cut, but he is also gonna be doing the uh, Diode Dynamics S3 fog light install. Jeff, tell us why these fog lights are important. All right, so fog lights are um, a vital thing to have on your vehicle just for the fact that uh, when your conditions aren't quite great, um, you throw those on and it helps uh, with visibility. Uh, you always want to go with LED on fog lights just because it has a greater output. Um, they do um, run um, with a lower voltage so it doesn't have as big of a drain on your system. And then um, between white and amber, I mean I know a lot of people like white. White does help for visibility but amber is where it's at which is why he uh, went with it. Amber cuts through snow, it cuts through the dust conditions, it doesn't uh, make it brighter, it actually uh, makes it where you can see better through the low uh, visibility areas. All right, and Jeff, how difficult is this install for the people out there at home to do? So Diodynamics made it super easy. It is literally a plug and play uh, thing. Uh, you unscrew a couple screws on each side. Uh, you unplug it from your uh, factory uh, fog light. Um, you pull it out, screw it back in, plug it in, and you're done. Uh, literally 10, 15 minutes per side, and that is with zero experience. All right, Jeff, well, let's get started. All right. All right. The first thing we need to do is attach the lights themselves to the brackets. Stand by for a helpful hint. If you ever do installs like this, because there may be a time where you might swap out your fog lights, these will only go on a certain way. If you put it on this way, it actually bounces back up. So, sits flush. Once the bracket assembly is complete, and after this quick video bomb from Natural State Overland, it's time to remove the stock fog lights and fit the new ones. Then we simply bolt them in place attach the included plug adapter, and connect them to your stock wiring. Now we're ready to test them. And just as a comparison, check out this head-to-head -head comparison of the stock fog lights versus the new SS3s. We'll be doing a full review and side-by-side -side comparison of the stock fog lights in these SS3 Sports as soon as we can get some foggy weather. I can't wait to see how these perform and how much they increase our visibility. We just about blinded the poor guys from Natural State Overland, but hey, that's what you get for doing a video bomb. All right, guys, as you can see, that was probably one of the easiest installations and easiest modifications you can do to your Forerunner. With these new lights, we are gonna have a lot better field of vision, especially utilizing those fog lights in the fog. The amber is gonna cut through that a lot better than the white. And with the LED power, we're gonna be able to see further. So this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to test them out in the fog. Uh, and until then, guys, you guys have a great week. Keep exploring. And if you have any questions, drop them below. Bye.